Hi folks, John Kitts here once again, playing Sail Away the Sailing Simulator. So, uh, what's happened since the last time? Last time, if you recall, which was yesterday, um, somehow we got blown off course and I guess we ran aground on the southern coast of Nova Scotia. And we spent time trying to get back on course, but the wind was almost directly in our coming from our fore bow and uh, didn't get very far. But at the time, we, whoa, tipping over sideways here. Um, we, uh, what did we do? Yeah, oh, yeah, we ran through a, a tutorial while we uh, sailed along. Uh, since then, I actually just put it at anchor when I finished uh, yesterday. And this time I just used the teleport and I teleported to where I should be on uh, the course line. And as you see, weather-wise, the wind has shifted again. It was south to north or southwest to northeast before. Now it's, uh, what do you say, northwest to southeast. And so we've got to adjust for that. Plus, uh, yesterday it was a little bit more overcast. Now you can see by looking around, it's kind of intermittent cloudy. But most importantly, the wind has uh, picked up uh, more than double the strength. So we're at present heading straight into the wind because we're still at anchor. Uh, and we're heading quite a gale and we're rocking back and forth here. So uh, if you've watched any of the uh, videos before or specifically the welcome video, you know why I started this channel. It's mainly for senior citizens uh, like myself. I'm 70 years old uh, as of 2019 and um, I was very not really happy with the way uh, seniors were being treated by the YouTube uh, creators of the time. So I started my own channel and uh, it's here for uh, mainly for senior citizens, but for anyone who feels somewhat, somewhat marginalized because of their, um, I don't know, uh, gender choices or uh, uh, sexual orientation, whatever. I'm just trying to even us out here. So, yeah, I would pull this one in as well. Uh, okay, so we shouldn't be quite so tippy turvy. So, uh, please do hit the thumbs up button, show uh, your likes, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button, that would be great. Uh, but most importantly, hit the uh, comments and leave something. Let me know how you um, how you deal with uh, games in general, how you deal with YouTube and the such. Okay, so... Uh, here we are. Now, the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is look at the map. And you can see there, and we want to go that way. Let's scroll in a little bit further. And we are almost coming up, and maybe we already have chosen. Yes, we've already selected that particular waypoint, and now we're heading for the next one, which is yet... I guess because we are at anchor, uh, it doesn't show any data there. Okay, um, so first task, raise the mainsail, which if I hit Q or E, I will find the halyard for the mainsail, and then I scroll like crazy, and we lift that up. Stop. 
go straight into the wind, so we're not going to get much by way of speed here at first. But we will turn. Okay, we're at 100% now. So what I want to do is turn more toward the coast, or the course that I had selected. Uh, and it's going crazy here now. There we go. I don't know what that... is there. Anyway, so now we're starting to pick up a little speed. Around two, two knots. I keep wanting to say kilometers, but it's not. It's uh, knots. So now if we look at that, it's still not giving us any way of knowing how far off core or on course are. we are. Me? Oh, because we've already gone through that one, but we're still technically haven't reached it yet. So let's pull back a little bit further into the wind and aim closer to that one there. Probably we'll be reducing our speed because we're closer into the wind. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's trim our mainsail first. Top of the mainsail is too tight. Try to ease the bang or pull the traveler. It's probably the traveler. It's too tight. So pull it, pulling the traveler back, hoping it needs to go that way. Not sure. That's the bang. Actually, the bang. Traveler by pulling the traveler. No, it goes the other way. That makes it tighter. So let's try the vang instead, which is this thing right here. So the vang. No, is no ease the vang. whole lot all the way to zero it still hasn't helped so I gotta pull the traverse some more. The point that I would think makes it tighter. We'll raise the jib in a minute. Alright let's go back to the traveler. Ease it some more. Now it's too loose I kind of figured that. Okay, it says the main sail is too tight, the main sheet is too loose. So let's try to find the main sheet. What was that? Main sheet. Too loose. Try to pull it or move the traveler windward. Oh, wait. that way. Yeah, the wind's coming in from the side, but that's the opposite to what I was telling us to do before. Uh, back to trim. Traveler. Windward. No, windward, which is this way. I can't ease the vang anymore, but if I pull, okay, I'm pulling traveler right now. Are looking pretty good. I'm already reefed. How can I be reefed? Okay, let that ride. Let's raise the jib because we got strong wind. We would normally raise the Genoa, but if there's a lot of wind, you would raise the jib because it's a smaller sail. 
Genoa. So, let's find the halyard for the jib. This one. So let's raise the jib. Scroll the middle wheel like crazy while we raise that up. Now, that has affected the mainsail. So now we have the jib at 100%. Let's see what we can do to adjust that first. Uh, curve the jib is too far back. Try to pull the halyard or the backstay. Now, what is the backstay? Well, I know what the backstay is, but what is our uh, reading? Where is the backstay? Come on, where's her? Can't even see. Okay, there you go. Oops, backstay. It's already fairly tight. I'm scrolling, nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go back to the halyard. Jib halyard. Let's give it some extra. Okay, that looks better. Now the jib is too tight to try to ease it. Alright, let's find the jib sheet. Easing the sheet. I don't know. Since it's too tight. Okay, it wants to catch more weight, I guess. Let's go back to the main and see. Uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, top of the foresail is too far open. Try to pull the barber holler downwards. That's this thing up here. That's that little green. Seems to be though. It's already down. So I'm thinking that eases it. Let's see if it Before it would kind of would pull that in one direction or another. Let's see. I'm not seeing any change at all. This is a 
pull, try to pull the barber holly downward. That's maybe by pulling it. Okay, let's just keep pulling it. So now I want to go back to the sheet. And it's too tight, so let's make it a little bit smaller. making sense to me at all. Let's go back to the mains and see if there's something strange there. It's just the same old thing. The bang is too... guys want me to ease the main sheet. The end, oh, it's going to go to NR4. Red chip. How big is the NR4? I think that's really small, isn't it? Wow, pull the barber out of the way that go there. Yeah, that's small. Now it's easing the traveler. Pulling the main sheet from... Okay, so it tightened the main sheet. Do I sound confused? Well, guess what? I'm confused. Although the telltales look good, these better than what I had before. Oh, it wants me to remove the reef. Okay, I, for once I agree with that. So let's find the reef, the main reef. So it was a flaw there, so if I go off and go back, that's zero. Now, full reef, I can use the Oat Hall and the Cunningham. Ain't flapping up the Okay, so now 
now we're cruising along. Again, again with the van. I can't use the van because it's already. Adjusted the uh, bank before. In fact, no, we didn't still 100%. I can't ease 100% pull or ease. So I can't do anything with that. Alright, let's see what the saving guy says. Top of the sail is too tight, try. Again, down the river, Barbara Hall. Alright, let's uh, try the, this guy again, see what he does. Now, how can that be? The jib wasn't even up before. Easing the main sheet. Easing the traveler again, which of course made that loose. Now it's going to pull it back to 100% again, which is where it was. And that's all it's going to do. Alright, so we're heading out at 3. Let's look at it from a distance here. Tilting over like crazy. Healing, as they say. Uh, trying to get a better perspective. So, let's pull that over and see whether... Actually, I think it's going the other direction, so let's go back. By looking at it from the front instead of from behind, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I don't want it to heal so much. Yeah, it's coming back now. A little bit. All right. Uh, up to 5.2 knots. I don't see how we can change. last time how this guy's going to affect us. He's going to do nothing, which is what I expected. Okay, uh, I wonder if we have a little bit of time left. What's the map say? How close are we? Got a ways to go before we can get in. What's the GPS say? Still not. Ah, so we passed that one. Unlock this. Oh, this uh, disappears. That wasn't a dot filled with zero, that was just a dot from something else. Lock that up again, make that disappear. Now we go to GPS. It's still screwed up. Someplace else 
I don't want to pull towards it because then I'll be pulling straight into the wind again. So we're going to head straight and just ignore that part. Says we're what? 97. focusing on the end like it's focusing on that which is wow lots of made such a long course it says 2.4 nautical miles that means from there but that could be 97 nautical miles from where I am focus on that one. I don't know what that means. Hard to say. Maybe the game is screwed up here some bit. More likely I have no idea what I'm doing. But Let's uh, just, uh, hopefully, you know, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to unlock this, and uh, unlock that, and I'm going to pull that this way. Okay, lock it up again. So what I'm thinking is, if I should just put it at anchor, or if I should let it keep sailing, it's going to screw up. So. I was hoping I'd get a tutorial in on this one, but I'm not going to have time. Still doesn't register anything. Huh. Uh, Alright, let's 
market is passed. So now it should lock into the next one. This is an hour and six minutes or so. Which is about right, I think, right? Because it takes about an hour and about oh, two, two knots. Right, because we are at 3.6 knots per hour, or nautical miles per hour, which is 3.6 knots. And so this is two and a half knots plus we're that distance here. So yeah, we're roughly. Um, So yeah, so we're back on course again. Okay, so I'm somewhat afraid to leave it to sail, but I'm going to. I'll let it see if that connects and keeps on going. So to make sure... Ah. Okay, I have to use... That shouldn't have adjusted the sail. starts to work when I'm offline. So for some reason, I'm going to adjust things on its own. Or... All right, because I'm Zero. Okay, so it pulled that. Should get our speed back up. So, three quarters of a mile away because you add up to five point. Well, it's up to five knots, so it's going faster now. So it won't take as long to cover that distance. Okay, so. Um, I guess that's all I've got time for it, so uh, if, uh, yeah, just hit the um, thumbs up button, please do, uh, or hit the, and or hit the subscribe button. Uh, most importantly, if you uh, leave a comment, that would be great. Um, so, I guess until next time, please do. Take care.